Good afternoon, guys. I'm really excited and I'm really happy because one, I'm not doing a roof job today, and two, I get to inspect this really gorgeous 2007 Country Coach Intrigue. I think it's called what a Intrigue 530. I was told it's a Jubilee. What's exciting to me about it is the obvious pride of ownership from the owner, at least the current owner. I don't know if it's the original owner, but definitely the current owner. So I'm still in the middle of my uh, inspection, and I'll take you guys on the, around the outside of this, and then we'll go inside real fast, and I'll just point out the things that I think really speak to me, because truth be told, I'm not the biggest country coach fan. I do appreciate them. I think they're gorgeous, but this, this is one that might convert me. It's nice. Now, I think the most important thing to point out on this and why I'm so excited is the exterior. The paint's in great shape and I don't see any checking. So this has been a garage kept is what I can figure. I mean, no checking whatsoever in the black paint or any of the other colors. It's really good condition. The rear cap is looking good. And I don't see any checking here either. So as a service technician, there's uh, one area on a country coach that I'm always kind of uh, leery about. And that's not the sidewall. It's going to be underneath the slide outs. Now, it's not going to be a problem on this front fender, even though it's kind of known that these fenders do get loose. I did check that. All the fenders are good. But usually on these back slide outs here, where it goes to the wall, you'll get some cracking through the slide, through the sidewall. And you're never usually that lucky either, too. It usually goes at an angle. And there's no cracking here. There's no cracking there. If you look underneath, no rot damage either. It's pretty common also for right about here, for this area right here to be a little bit rotten. Usually it's uh, the bathroom wa wall for some reason, but that's even brings up another point. All these windows, the current owner replaced all the exterior windows. He didn't get them re resealed or defogged he just went ahead and paid for all new windows to be put in so that's usually another problem with country coaches is their their mirror glaze kind of can uh can look bad at, over time it has a gold mirror glaze on it and a lot of times they use cg windows which had a seal creep issue so if we look underneath this driver's side bedroom slide out no crack whatsoever in the sidewall and no crack whatsoever in the sidewall and again the sidewall is not delaminated. If we look underneath these slide outs, which is kind of notorious for having a little bit of rot issues. Good shape. About the only real paint damage I see is a little bit of electrolysis that's on the uh, molding right here on these slide out boxes. So I hope you guys can appreciate how much, why this makes me so excited. Because these are beautiful coaches and it makes me sad when the sidewalls are checked pretty substantially or there's big cracks underneath the sidewalls or if the sidewall is delaminating, which is not a problem with this 2007 Intrigue. It's also nice because it does have the rear access. No radiator here. And they added a ladder. I don't know if that's factory ladder or not because it seemed a lot wider than normal and it seems pretty new. So I think that did get added and it worked great. This has a uh, cat engine on it. And this is a C13. I think about 89, 90,000 miles. And if we come over here to the engine bay, or the uh, chassis service bay, we'll see another thing that excites me. All the services have just recently been done. I like it when it's been marked when everything was serviced. So it's really the pride of ownership things that uh, excite me a lot more than the uh, doodads and the gee whiz factors inside. I won't spend too much time taking through the basement because there's really not much to see. It's a pretty standard, uh, open bay basements on it. I still think the industry got away with uh, putting speaker box carpet in basements too much. But yeah, that's really good condition. Now when we're talking about these doors, this was another weak point, I think, in the country coach construction was how they did their doors, their basement doors. Now this is a gel coat molded fiberglass door. It's very, very durable, but the inside of it is mostly just foam and then this uh, white ABS plastic gets glued to all of that. So it's very common for the foam to come loose from the fiberglass. And I'm not seeing that on this coach, except in one door, but it's very, very common on that door because it's exposed to so much weather. And that's this chassis bay we just opened. Maybe you can see it a little bit better right there. So you can see it. 
is a little loose. That's the worst of it. Man, I'll take that any day. Now besides the engine and the ladder, you gotta know we're gonna get on the roof and take a look at it because, you know, what channel are you watching right now? Now we don't have time to do a full roof inspection on here, but I will point out that this is a true seamless gel coat fiberglass roof, which means no steam on the rear cap or the front cap. It's all been body worked together. So there's no way for water to get pooled up on here on any molding. And believe it or not, there's not even like clear coat peeling on it. Get you a wider view so you can actually see all the solar that's been installed on here. These uh, narrower panels, you have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. I'm estimating about 100, 120 watts on those. And then one larger one right in the middle. So, so they definitely put a lot of money into solar up here. And I already walked this roof and I can tell you, I didn't find anything wrong with it. In fact, they upgraded to the max fan vents that I like so much, the built-in vent cover. So you don't have to worry about a cover you have to take off for getting off leaves. They've already upgraded the TV antenna. They already chested the ACs. I already made sure they weren't loose. And believe it or not, the wind sensor for the awning isn't broken. You can see up here, there's no seam and there's no peeling clear. This thing's been well, well maintained, and it's rock solid up here. You kind of see it has two, has one, two, three Coleman RVP ACs. I don't know if they're heat pumps or not. I haven't done that inspection yet. But man, this is what I wish all roofs would look like. And that's why I'm so happy. This has been such an easy inspection, and I'm pretty excited to share it with you guys. So let's get down off this roof and take a look inside. Now before we go inside, I will point out it is a one-piece oversized windshield and it has a 10kW PowerTech generator that uh, has a, a CAD engine on it too. It's pretty fun. Let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing on the outside that everybody's going to want to know. What are the tires like? I already checked them and these are 24, 21. So they're all from 21 or mid, mid year 21, so 2021. So they're not even a year old. All of them all the way around are brand new doing it right new tires new windows paints in great shape i can honestly say this is probably the nicest country coach i've ever been into in recent history and it's the pride of ownership that uh, i i care about so much it makes me so happy to see things that have been taken care of all right i guess it's ninety thousand miles almost even Let's see how it starts Woo. They've even put the Garmin navigation on there and have the brand new flip out Pioneer head unit. They've done everything. Oh wow, it's got silver leaf too. Man, they have done everything. Look at that. They even added a battery voltage for the house and chassis. It's pretty, pretty crazy coming up on the camera. It doesn't flicker like that in, in person. Man, look at this. This seat has to have just been rewrapped. There's no way, because I don't remember ever seeing a a country coach with this type of upholstery in it before. Wow, it's like it's like brand new. I mean, not only is the dash AC cold, uh, the air leveling works fantastic, but it has side cameras. I didn't expect to see cat side cameras on this. I don't remember it being very common in 2007. And now we're back outside. So it came from National Indoor RV Centers and a good friend's Premier RV in Oregon. So you know this been well maintained. But check this out. The docking lights have all been upgraded to LEDs. Then the uh, headlights, basically brand new headlights with halos on it and LED turn signals. I mean, these are, they're not HIDs, these are uh, LED bulbs. That's a good upgrade too. Even the bulbs and the tail lights are all LEDs. And those are high quality LEDs. The batteries are brand new too. And the inverter has been upgraded too. Even the solar, you can see it's Blue Skies Energy Solar. Man, everything's been upgraded. They're doing everything wrong. You're not supposed to do all this. This is basically a brand new country coach built at the height of country coaches uh, quality and design. This is a good value. Okay, well, we'll start right here, the entryway. It doesn't seem like it should be that important, but it should be able to see all the new tile that's on here. Just not factory. They had this done. That already looks good. 
So let's get the beautiful reveal by coming inside. And if you told me this thing was brand new, I would believe you. This wood is in great shape. Everything works. Even, let's check this out. We have a drape, power drape. This looks like the curtain's brand new. That's usually pretty common for this to get all damaged over here. What's also really common is for this wood on the passenger armrest area or console area to be really sunburnt, the wood to be damaged, and the wall right here to be damaged. So it's not damaged. Everything looks good. There's a dual dash AC zone so the passenger can control their own. But man, I'm trying to take you through the rest of this as fast as I can. But if we do look at the floor, the floor is the original factory floor and it's in great shape. Uh, it's a ceramic tile, but all the carpet is new. This carpet's not original top carpet. This is really nice carpet. Now, one of the problems uh, that's pretty common in this era also are all the ceiling lights. They were brass rings with uh, lenses on them and those all broke. And the owner's already upgraded every single one of these recessed puck lights to an LED light. So every single one of these are already brand new. You don't have to worry about that. But else the owner did besides change out the windows, now you have MCD roller shades, day-night shades. I mean, this is a small fortune the man put into just shades. And with that closed, you might be able to see the carpet a little bit better. It has a, a grid pattern to it. It's not completely sculptured, but this is not cheap carpet. This is nice, nice carpet. Another issue I don't generally like about country coaches is our entertainment center right here. I know my good friend Brian over at Brian's RV Videos used to install these, but I think he would appreciate what's been done here. The whole thing's been redone. They added this filler panel right there, drilled some holes in the ABS to give it some, uh, to allow it to breathe. It has actually it's been upgraded into Ultra HD Blu-ray player and the home theater system has been working flawlessly on it. It uses the same speakers as the Dash Radio. And I don't know if you can see how expertly this brand new TV was installed. There's no gap all the way around this TV. And this is a Sony Bravia. This was a nice smart TV too. If you get a look over on this side, all this wood is impeccable. Normally I've seen it uh, flaking off, the finish peeling, sunburn. It's not, like I said, if this was, if you told me this was brand new, I would believe you. Even the sofa, the sofa, it might look wrinkly, but it's not torn. It is a hide-a-bed and it also has an air pump to it. So it's an air hide-a-bed and it looks like it'd be about a king size bed too. I'm not going to take you through a complete tour of this, just the things that I noticed and what really excites me about it because uh like i said it's very rare to see something taken care of now i had almost thought this was granite countertop but it is not it is a engineered epoxy type uh corian solid service countertop but man that's a gorgeous one countertop or the table does extend out just like most of the country coaches and then you can still move it side to side to get in and out the countertops are the exact same right here the tile backsplash is in, again impeccable condition they've even upgraded the sink faucet but they have a drinking faucet that they put in and look at what they put underneath oh geez it's even led they even upgraded that to led a big old water filter and reverse osmosis system for just that spigot if you look over here this is not the original convection of a microwave this has also been recently upgraded and the only propane appliance on here will be the princess two burner propane stovetop and maybe maybe i'm the only one excited by this but these are not princess stove knobs you can't find these uh the original ones anymore and they always get melted so somebody found knobs that work on this princess stove and now i need to find out where to get these knobs because those are hard to get it's always the small things like that i guess they excite technicians Speaking of things that excite technicians, if I look down here, this is a brand new propane and CO detector. So whenever they bought this, the people that did the inspection on it knew exactly what to do and did everything right. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at this wall is gorgeous. No peeling, no cracking. Nice residential refrigerator, but that doesn't excite me as much as this right here. I love these vents. I'm sorry, I will not apologize for it. So these would have originally been fantastic vents, but these vents have a built-in cover on them. So you can keep them open 
whenever you want. No rain can come in there. They upgraded that one in the bedroom too. So this doesn't do anything anymore. All the pocket doors are in great shape. Uh, the shower, I don't know why I find it impressive. They did upgrade the shower head. But the pressure coming out of here, it's good city pressure. Even uh, in the bathroom sinks. I know I usually do a shower check, make sure I don't hit my head. Uh, but I just got it all wet in there. I'm not going to track dirt into a shower in this beautiful coach. But uh, let me just tell you this much. I'm six foot. I can step up just fine. And it looks to be about a nine inch step up into there. But it is a fiberglass surround with a bench seat on it. So it's really nice. But more importantly, it does have uh, aqua hot. This has just been serviced. Worked perfectly. It does have in-floor tile heating for all the tile area, and that all works. And while we were on the roof, I did uh, say I'd get with you if it was, they were heat pumps. They are heat pumps. You have three roof AC heat pumps and three zone hydronic heating, along with two zone electric floor heat. There's, everything's working. I don't, I feel like they wasted their money paying me to do an inspection. Now again, no hate to Country Coach. I do think they make beautiful coaches. Uh, usually one of their main issues are going to be in the bathroom wall right around here. That's usually what the part that rots out, but it is not rotten. And like I said, he, the guy changed out all the windows. These are all brand new windows and all brand new day night shades. This is, this is nice. Even the fabric that's still on the balance still looks pretty good for 2007. And yes, that is the new fan up there. Macerating toilets working great. Countertops are in fantastic shape along with the backsplash. When I'm doing an inspection, I'll always uh, use my nose to help me inspect. So if I smell must or uh, mildewy smell, I'll have to look for that, but it doesn't exist in this one. It just smells wonderful. But speaking of another weak point, it's generally these uh, slide out cabinets. The, the ceilings can get rotten you know, from a water leak. No sign of any water leaks there. Country Coach did put the bedroom vanity and bed all in the same slide out. But man, look at this, it looks brand new and it's aged really, really well. This, this is not granite. This is a solid surface simulated stone, which I like better than stone because you don't have to seal it and it's not as heavy. But even look at this, the, pre the owner changed out the 110 outlets to have USB charge ports on it. That's how nice this is. Back to the carpet in the bedroom area same brand new carpet and whoever did the carpet let me just tell you you guys did a beautiful job i've done carpet before i don't do carpet this well you guys did good and whoever installed the tv this is an insignia roku tv so it's a smart tv i don't know watch this they put a new surround sound system on it too and it's working upgraded the dvd player but more importantly, check this out. If we go back to the Roku home screen, this is the stuff that just excites me. You don't have a VCR, but you do have a composite input. So this is the outside camera. You have the camera button right there, so you can change the different cameras. So there's the rear camera now. That doesn't always work on these country coaches. I'm telling you, it's the little things that make me happy. And this is making me happy. Behind right there, washer dryer combination unit. I'm gonna pump it out. It works just fine. Uh, I think this should be about the right time period for it. So I don't know if it's the original one in 2007, 2008. It was the uh, Splendid model after these that seemed to have a little bit more problems with the uh, pop out little buttons on them. These have been pretty reliable. Well, I hate talking bad about anything. Another known, known place that I'll find rot or water damage on the country coach is going to be under the cabinets right here. But that's why I always have my flashlight with me. I've seen mushrooms growing under here and nothing and just so you know that little eye bolt right there that's just for manually retracting the slide outs hopefully you should never have to use that kind of the last things that i always have issues with the country coaches are going to be these mirrored closet doors they seem to like to uh, break and fall apart because nobody uh takes care of them but work as good as the day they were built that's how nice this is you can see they extended uh that new carpet all the way into the closet here Man, it's even seat aligned. And the last most common one is gonna be the bedroom pocket doors. 
They're double pocket doors, now these bedroom pocket doors. It's very common for these to be broken, usually at, at the styles here or there because nobody latched it down and those two doors are pretty heavy because they are solid wood. Of course, these are gorgeous and in great shape and they break. There's a little stop on this side that usually gets broke off and that's not broke off. Now that may not have been the best walkthrough you've ever seen on an RV, uh, but I was really excited to do this inspection and to kind of share everything with you that I found and point out everything that was very impressive to me on this. I personally consider myself to be a bad salesman, so I'm not trying to sell you this coach, uh, but it is for sale. I will leave the contact information in the description right there. I don't know how long it will last. It'll probably be sold before I even make this video, to be honest, because I'm kind of slow making videos. This is a 2007 Intrigue Jubilee Edition. It has four slide outs on it, a 10KW generator, an Aqua Hot, four 8D Lifeline AGM batteries. Now, this is a 2007, so another nice feature is there's no diesel exhaust fluid to it. Uh, they did a whole bunch more upgrades on this, including this refrigerator from what, 2009, uh, 2018? I'll put all that in the description too. The story I'm getting is that the owner's wife no longer wants to uh, travel or is no longer able to travel. So they did all these upgrades and maintenance on it. And unfortunately life changes sometimes. So I talked to the consigner, they're looking at $220,000 for this. It seems to be uh, the best country coach, if not the best luxury coach I've inspected that's including 2020, 2021 coaches that I've seen in, uh, man, the last 10 years. No lie, guys. That was an absolute pleasure to do an inspection on that. A lot of fun. Wow. And for what it's worth, whoever uh, did the work, either it was at Premier or National Indoor or Motor Coach Store, you guys... If you, if you ever see this video, I want you to know you really impressed me and I don't think I can do anything even remotely that good. You guys did good work. I'm very impressed. Eh, almost died. Now, I don't want to take you on a complete, I don't want, I'm not, and I'm pretty confident you could tell somebody this was brand new and they would believe you. But of course it's a 2007 country coach. Now I know. Now I know I usually do a uh, a shower check, but I just got it all wet in there. Now, pretty commonplace. I'll see rot on a uh, a pretty normal place.